what market research questions should you be asking? Getting answers to critical questions helps you develop your business, your products, your services, your offerings, and so on in ways that are pretty difficult to underemphasize, quite honestly. But what market research questions should you be asking in the first place and how can you put all of this to use for yourself and your online business well that is exactly what you and i are going to be covering in this video how's it going my friend i'm jeff blake from 10tononline.com if you want to escape the grind build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow for yourself then you are definitely in the right spot okay so let's dig into some crucial market research questions. Now, to help you along, I've put together an online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free, easy to follow PDF, PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation, a solid blueprint for yourself and for your online business. And essentially what we do in this guide is we take what you've already got, assets, things that you already have that maybe you don't even recognize that you have yet. I'm talking about things like your existing knowledge, your existing skills, and even things like your preferences, the way that you like to work and maybe the way that you don't like to do things. And we take all of this and we leverage all of it to serve the exact sorts of people that you want to work with in your online business. This free guide really helps lay things out in a clear, solid way to help you develop a solid plan for your online business. Go ahead and grab this free guide right now over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. One other thing too, stick around to the end of this video where I'll show you how you can gain access to even deeper training that takes everything that we're gonna talk about here much, much further. I should mention too, that this additional more in-depth training is completely free. However, it really is only intended for those who are serious about building their online business and building profits online. So stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you how you can gain access. All right, now let's talk about your most important market research questions. As you are researching your market and learning more and more, about the sorts of people that you wanna serve and you're really starting to get to know your audience better and better, there are three critically important questions that you wanna zero in on, that you wanna dial in on, pay attention to, and dig hard to find answers to. Here's the first question, my friend. What do they want? What result or outcome do they desperately want for themselves? In fact, you know what? Here's how I think of this. I think of it as almost like a journey. So right now your customer, your potential customer or your audience or whoever it is that you are serving, right now they're stuck. They're stuck wherever they are. They're dissatisfied, they're frustrated, or maybe they're even angry or you know, like I say, frustrated or disenfranchised, use whatever word you want with where they are, with the situation that they're stuck in. And they don't want to be here anymore, do they? They want to be somewhere else. They want to get somewhere else. So this is why I use the analogy of like a journey or maybe like an adventure. They're here and they don't want to be here anymore for whatever reason, whatever it is that they're wrestling with or whatever problem or challenge they're frustrated by right now, and they want to get somewhere else. This means that our job as business owners and entrepreneurs is to find this out, to find out where they are right now and where they want to go. What destination or maybe what better tomorrow do they wish they could have right now? Here's a great example of exactly what I'm talking about here. The weight loss industry is a perfect example of what I mean here. So here, people are dissatisfied with where they are. They don't want to be here anymore. They want a fix. They want a brighter future. They want a better tomorrow for themselves. And this whole idea of your audience wanting to go somewhere else to have a better tomorrow or a brighter future to get some kind of result that they want for themselves applies to every possible business when you really stop and break this down, including, of course, your business. As a matter of fact, my friend, this is precisely what business is really, truly all about, helping people solve their problems, helping them go from where they are right now to where they want to be. 
So whether you're selling some kind of entertainment of some sort or, I don't know, fast response plumbing services or info products, maybe on stock investing or whatever, really what we're doing, again, as business owners and as entrepreneurs, is we are selling a result. We're selling a better tomorrow, a brighter future, uh, a specific outcome. So once again, as business owners and entrepreneurs, our market research has got to uncover exactly what this is. Okay, here's another question that our market research has got to uncover. What does the audience that you want to serve, what do they already buy? Now here, I don't mean everything that they buy. Specifically, what I'm talking about is what do they buy as it relates to this market? Or what do they buy in terms of or in relation to solving this specific problem that they're wrestling with? So in other words, if they're already using a product or a service to get the result that they want for themselves, what is it? What is the product or the service maybe that they're currently buying? Or here's something else to think about. Are they used to buying products in this market that are of a particular type? This is important to know for a whole bunch of reasons. First off, if what you have in mind is, I don't know, maybe a home study course, but they currently, your market currently doesn't buy these sorts of products to solve this sort of problem, then you might be fighting a bit of an uphill battle. You might need to do some reconsidering. Here's a, a very quick classic example of what I'm talking about. Newspapers, the number of news outlets that put their content behind paywalls is staggering. And who pays for the news? We can get news from anywhere for free, yet these, let's call them legacy businesses or legacy business models are trying to force the way that they want to do things onto the people, their audience, who want to consume their content. So what you and I don't want to do is we don't want to make that mistake. Instead, we need to meet our customers where they currently are. We need to let's say, go along with the way that they're used to consuming and buying products to solve the problems that they have. Otherwise, like I say, it's going to be an uphill battle. It's going to be a long road to convince them to change their habits. You know, here's another reason to uncover or find out what your potential customers, your audience are already buying. Here it is. Maybe what they're currently buying is perhaps flawed in some way, or maybe it isn't a perfect fit to get them to solve this problem, to get them to that better tomorrow. Maybe what they're currently purchasing is sort of a compromise, sort of a good enough solution. Whatever the case, you'll wanna know what it is that they're currently buying. And if you really wanna go in depth with your market research here, you could even go so far as to buy what they buy yourself so you can experience it for yourself firsthand. Okay, my friend, here's our third and final critical, crucial, absolutely, importantly, massively important market research question. Here it is, where's the pain? In other words, what's painful for your target audience right now? What are they struggling with? What issues, challenges, and frustrations are they currently wrestling with? Maybe they're frustrated that they have to tolerate or put up with a product or a service that is perhaps suitable for a broader market, but it only kind of sort of half decently works for the specific sub-market or niche that you're targeting in your online business. I hope that makes sense. Maybe they're frustrated that they have to tolerate or put up with a product or a service that is perhaps suitable or works for the broader market, but it only kinda sorta half works for them in their specific niche sub-market, if that makes sense. So maybe they're kinda putting up with a good enough solution, if that makes sense, or maybe products and services exist for this sub-market, but Perhaps they're inferior in some way. Maybe there's tons of room for improvement, and this means that your target audience is left feeling dissatisfied. Or maybe a viable and worthwhile solution to their most pressing problems and pains 
isn't available at all. And so from your audience's perspective, they have no options and no possible way to fix whatever it is that they are struggling with. So in other words, what I'm getting at here, my friend, is what you're doing here is you're sniffing around for the pain. You're looking for frustration. You're looking for discontent. You're looking for dissatisfaction. All right. Now, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward to building your profitable online business, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. There, you're going to find a free online business workshop. This is a completely self-paced online workshop that really lays out the building blocks for you to begin building the groundwork, the foundation, uh, on top of which you can build your profitable online business. I know you're going to love it. So grab the nearest pen and notepad, grab the nearest beverage, and I'll catch you over there in just a second.